we have attended excellent presentations, at least the last two that uh, I have attended. Uh, many nice videos. Unfortunately, we don't have any, any video in my presentation. And also a very nice presentation with a French accent. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the influence of Italian in my English uh, is quite obvious because I've lived many years in Italy. So in the elementary level, we learned speaking English with Italian accent. And you know how Italians speak English? They pronounce exactly what they see and give emphasis in the last letter. For example, flashback. They say, flashback. Try with this letter. Uh, it's redefining, yeah? Italians would say, redefining, or there we see, everybody see this word, conference room, yeah? Italians would say, conference room. So, excuse me for, for the accent. I am Marcos Kalogeropoulos, uh, country manager of Better Line Greece. It's an online accommodation supplier. But online is part of uh, Tui Travel PLC. Uh, everybody, I think, you know uh, this brand. It's a travel giant. We are the world's leading international leisure travel group with revenues over 15 million and an operating profit of 590 million of pounds. Uh, some important figures are also that we have 30 million customers from 31 source markets. Uh, two is a large group, so we have over 220 brands. We have our own airline fleet, owning 138 aircraft and many retail shops, around 2,000 in Europe, uh, 55,000 employees uh, for 2013 data. Now, my topic is about B2B distribution in the travel agencies. So, in order to, to analyze the topic, we need to take it into consideration the macro environment and the micro environment. In the macro environment, there are different drivers that influence the distribution. They are political and legal, they are economic, social and technological. We won't analyze too much, many of them, but we will stick to the most important ones. Everybody knows that the travel industry, travel industry is changing constantly and rapidly, and this has to do with the penetration of mobile internet the, the internet itself, with uh, mobile commerce and e-commerce, and also new uh, technological gadgets that are emerging, and they were going to change in the next few years the status quo of the travel industry. Those obviously are the smartphones, tablets, mobile PCs, and also the introduction of different applications through those devices. And the trend of very last minute bookings is continuously increasing. And the decision making of the travel is now made mostly through the social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. So the development of internet and mobile technologies is supporting the dynamic development of social trends, boosting e-commerce and mobile commerce. This slide we just have to see that in 2008, on the left of the slide, 100 million broadband mobile sus subscribers were representing the 25% of the total subscriptions. Uh, the forecast for 2017 is that 55% of the population will use the mobile internet. And last Wednesday, if I remember well, they projected that by 2020, every, the, almost the 
of the population over six years old will have access to the mobile internet. So this is quite impressive. In terms of microenvironment, this is the uh, ocean with the sharks because we see that there are, together with the industry growth, there is a threat of substitution, especially because some players, uh, like the suppliers, the intermediaries, and distributors, are changing the industry. How? Through social community uh, trends. Now the decision making of travel is made through family and friends. Uh, the, uh, the, the customer to customer is emerging with the websites like Airbnb, perhaps you are aware of them, Flipkey, Rumorama, Tripping, Vacation Rentals, Home Away, etc. And also the B2C arena, where you've got different websites for camping, for cruise, etc. So, more and more accommodation alternatives to hotel rooms are available on the market and some players are expanding rapidly, many of them rely on social media to create customer communities. One example, everybody perhaps knows Airbnb, those three happy uh, guys under 35 are the founders, the model is really simple, anybody who owns a flat or a studio or any room in his apartment, they can hire, they can uh, uh, hire it online, they can offer availability online, like any other booking engine, and sell directly to the guest. So the, the, the customer or the owners, without having any uh, involvement in the travel industry, can sell room nights easily like any travel agent or tour operator. Another uh, brand is uh, Hotel Tonight. This is the title and this is exactly how it works. You need a hotel tonight, same day availability. You can book the same night when you arrive, especially for business travelers that arrive too late from the airport. They have in the mobile their technology where it allows them to book online the accommodation without having any booking. Last example, uh, it's about the excursions. Uh, Excursiopedia, like Wikipedia, it's another successful model. Those are the founders. Easily, for any destination, any time you want, you can book your excursion, your trip, the entrance to uh, a theater or to a stadium, whatever you need, this website gives you the opportunity to book directly the service. Now, uh, we have tried to simplify this uh, complex environment in this slide. I know that it's not so easy to understand. Let's, I, I will try to, to help. We have the hotel on the top, where you see, and the final customer on the bottom. Now, all those players have uh, uh, are, are, are sources of booking for the guest. You see the accommodation wholesaler on the top. We are actually an accommodation wholesaler, the number one worldwide. Then you will see the DMC in the destination. IT platforms, you know, different platforms that provide the same product online. And then it's a mess. Actually, the final customer can book through any of them a hotel room for the dates they want to book. Those are GTS. Normally, GTSs offer airline tickets, but the last years, they have ended also the accommodation arena, giving the possibility to the travel agent to book the accommodation as well. Tour operators, normal, offline uh, mostly. Then you've got the airlines, the airlines through their websites offer booking needs in for accommodation as well. They, they upsell in after the, the, the ticket or they sell directly through uh, different section the hotels. 
You've got cruise companies in their website too. They can sell accommodation. Travel agencies, the vertical ones, corporate travel agencies for the business travelers, and the normal street high-end travel agencies, which are the independent network travel agent. Uh, the last 10 years, we see also that many online travel agencies, the OTAs, are also one important channel for the distribution of accommodation of hotel rooms. Uh, many meta search engines like Kayak, TravelZoo, are the comparison tool explained here. Through any social media, you have the possibility to book search engines and directly selling to the final customer. Uh, I won't forget the white labels. Any company can sell accommodation by adding a white label in their website. So the choices for the guest are really without end. Too many choices. The new players we have described earlier are also there. And flash sales, websites like Groupon, for example, they offer accommodation to the travel agency or to, to the final customers that they want to book a room night. Now, uh, through this complex distribution map, we don't know actually which are current or potential customers. We don't have any idea for us as, as, as a TUI, as Bets Online. We don't know who, who of them are competitors. Should we consider them competitors, partners? And how could this map and these relationships evolve in the future? We still do not know. Now, as a summary, internet, mobile, and social media keep growing and fueling the internet and mobile commerce. Uh, the US and Europe traditionally were the leaders in the market, but progressively we see that they are reduced by emerging markets, especially in Asia. The Asia growing middle class is shifting global travel industry status quo, and current booking and consumption patterns are constantly changing. So a new generation of always connected travelers, any, any, any day they are through a mobile. You see in London, five days ago I was in London, and I saw in the station everybody was in the mobile. So this, understanding these changes, is the first step to take advantage of them. In any field you compete, whether you are hotelier, whether you are a travel agent, those are the trends. And for us, those will be uh, drive the industry, that will drive the industry in the next few years. Now, as Tuit Group, we think that uh, we are differentiating, and because we have a very powerful brand, we are number one or number two in all our mainstream markets. We are the leading online accommodation supplier. We are cooperating with over 25,000 travel agents and tour operators worldwide. And we are global market leader uh, in uh, different sectors of the travel industry. But the five most important factors that we rely, the five pillars of success, are represented, are, are, all of them are here. It's the content. You need to have a rich content. You have to possess strong brands and have a nice distribution channels. The technology, of course, growth and scale, and people. Now let's take each one of them separately. In the content, uh, today's travel distributors specialize in technology, global operation capabilities, or local market knowledge. We have in TUI over 60,000 hotels contracted directly. We have contracts with each single hotel that is displayed in our website. So the content is quite rich. But it's not also about quantity. Uh, it's also about quality. Perhaps this is the most important. And in terms of quality, uh, we are proud to, to say that we offer free nights in our results. 
We have many early booking discounts. We have length of stay discounts, last minute availability, uh, free sales, specific promotions for each market, free breakfast, for example, resort credit, free kids, free parking, etc., etc. Now, if you see this pie, you will see that th this is the booking pattern, the booking window for uh, for us. We're 100% online system, so uh, the 35% of total bookings they arrive between 90 days and 30 days prior to arrival. We receive them. The 32% is between 30 days and 4 days prior to arrival. 23% is over 90 days, and 10%, which is increasingly, which is increasing is under three days prior to arrival. So you see the last minute booking trend is there. It's not like some years ago that uh, the travelers, the holiday makers, were deciding, they were taking the decision making of the travel was made six months or eight months ago. Now it's last minute. So in terms of content also, we have worldwide coverage. You see more than 900 destinations, 2,500 resorts in 120 countries. In Europe, those are some of the destinations we offer the service, the Americas, Asia Pacific and Middle East, Africa. And apart from accommodation, we are also selling online with 100% availability, transfers, excursions, tickets, car hire, and many other travel extras. So actually the travel agent is able to package the offer to, to the guests uh, and give a complete and accurate package. In terms of brands and distribution, you see some of our brands in TUI. For example, Sun and Beats, Zeter, the airline, uh, luxury travel, some of our brands like Air Tours, for example, accommodation, which is our case, hotel beds, beds online. Uh, we have different, we have also, we own six uh, cruise ships and different other. What was that? Do you have to finish? No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's the message. Okay, okay, I, I will take it, I will be short. This is uh, the with the, the brand of online about for the hoteliers, it's uh, hotel beds. Actually, we have we are sharing the stand and it's online for the travel agencies and the tour operators. Now, this is our uh, clients you see down here. More than 5,000 5, tour operators, 20,000 travel agencies, and more than 11 million customers, guests, that are buying through us. Another model is Deliberate. Uh, perhaps you know them, how it works, Booking.com. This is a new brand for us uh, inside TUI, where everybody can book the holiday and pay at the hotel, and we give a commission to the travel agents. Just so simple. And the agreement is FIT and uh, dynamic. The hotel final prices and availability to liberate the, cost, the customer books through the travel agency keeps a voucher the, we they provide the card details to finalize the booking the, the liberate uh, verifies that the credit card is valid booking confirmation and the end consumer arrives at the hotel at base directly there apart from this model we have also recently added the TripAdvisor rating, because we know that uh, in the travel decision making, it's very very important factor is the reviews. Everybody is taking into consideration the reviews before they, dec they decide where to go. So in the search results of our website, we have uh, integrated TripAdvisor ratings. In terms of technology, for us, uh, our best-in-class technology allows our clients to choose the most adaptable way to, to work with us, 
it's the extranet uh, platform. You know everybody uh, that uh, the hotelier now owns the management of their booking flow. So we give them the possibility through a platform to do that directly. We have we offer also the direct XML connectivity and a channel manager in order to be able to compete successfully uh, in this arena I described earlier. Now, as Beds Online, the brand for the travel agencies, we can work with travel agencies with two simple ways. The first is through access codes uh, to our platform, and then they see all the results uh, with the accommodation. Or if a travel agent wants to be online, we can offer the XML connectivity so they can connect with our platform and all the data, all the products will be online uh, visible and they can uh, uh, show the results directly to their clients. In terms of growth and scale, uh, TUI is actually the online brands, Hotel Pets, the Pets Online. We are the industry leader in 120 source market worldwide, and we have 250 sales managers uh, who, who are approaching travel agents and, and uh, tour operators. And you can see here where uh, is distributed these 250, 250 sales managers. Now, in Greece, the domestic product is really important. And in Bed Online, we are perhaps the only bed bank offering 4,000, 4, sorry, 200 hotels online. Uh, we started with uh, almost 3,000 hotels by 2013, 3,100 3, in 13, 14. And now, this year, we're expecting to have almost 4,200 hotels. This is the distribution. In Athens, for example, we own, hundreds, we, we, we offer 179 hotels, 184 in Peloponnese, and 600 in Crete, in Ciclades, 596, et cetera, et cetera. Now, last but not least, one important factor are the people. You cannot be successful, and our success would not come without the right people. Uh, in Greece, we are three sales managers. They are sitting over there. Christina Karzani and Nina Zeleva. You can visit us also in our stand, in Hall 3, stand 837. And these are some incentives we offer to the travel agents. For example, we are running now one uh, offering iPads, tablets, and iPhones with a minimum number of bookings. Some in the past were also a weekend with a Porsche and then luxury hotel, et cetera, et cetera. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much. If you have any questions. Thank you. Oh.